As we speak, we now have 49 communities experiencing some form of outbreak. First Nations communities in Manitoba are seeing COVID-19 infection rates spike. And as the remote communities work to get the virus under control, there are calls for help. NDP MP for Churchill, Kiwaitanuk, Nikki Ashton, is calling for military assistance for Northern First Nations communities. Ashton says lives are on the line and communities are taking drastic measures, including implementing lockdowns. But some, like Grand Chief Arlen Dumas, don't agree with calling in the military just yet. I think that that's a misstep. Dumas says calling on the military at this time is ill-informed. He thinks working with local chiefs and Indigenous organizations to determine where, when and how the military may be of assistance to these communities will be more effective. And uh, to do anything else is actually quite disrespectful to everyone and to the efforts that are being made on the ground. The community loves having us there. Um, my people love being there. It's just a good fit and it's culturally appropriate uh, sensitive. James Favel, president of the First Nations Community Response Corp, has been assisting communities in crisis, dealing with a range of issues from gang violence, increasing suicide rates, drug abuse, and most recently dealing with COVID outbreaks. Favel isn't for or against military help. However, he says it's important for anyone offering assistance to take their lead from community leadership. Favel says he sees the benefits in First Nations-led organizations assisting First Nations communities because there is a continuity of lived experience and shared understanding. The bottom line is, it's up to the First Nation community what they need, what they want. At this time, Favel says he has over 40 team members working in three communities, assisting with COVID isolation, COVID testing, and operating checkpoints and roadblocks to limit further transmission of the virus. In Winnipeg, Mark Newfeld, City News.